Superstar. What's going on, everybody? This is Superstar O here, and thank you once again for tuning in. So, hopefully, you all are having uh, an amazing week so far. Uh, I don't know about where you guys live at, but where I live at, summer is pretty much over. It's getting cold as hell. Um, but hopefully you all are having a good week, a productive week as a producer as well. You're working on some new projects, getting some shit done, uh, and I am here to make your week even better. So, it has been a while since us at Industry Kits, or we at Industry Kits, have uh, released a new contact preset bank. It's been a little while, um, and those are because, that's because those take a little while longer to make, of course. You have to program everything, you have to make the design and everything, but... That is what I'm here to bring you all. We have a brand new contact preset bank called Plex, and you guys are going to love it. It's from the same uh, a company team that we did um, Simtex with, so you already know the type of quality sounds that are going to be in it. Um, it's around 2 gigs in size. It has, I think, 50 different instruments, but the, uh, also the other thing about it that is really good is that it has uh, a folder of drums as well, and those drums open up in contact and they're spread across the keys, so you can easily do snare rolls, um, even like vocals that are in there. You could do some cool shit with vocals going up and down on the keys real easy instead of having to try to edit it in your DAW. So not only do you have uh, the presets in here too are really crazy good quality, but you have those those really good presets like pianos, all types of stuff, uh, but you also have drums too. So we're going to go over here uh, and I'll give you a demonstration of that. And also before that though, the second product that we're uh, releasing is called Angelic Vibes Melody um, Pack. So this does not have MIDI with it, but it has WAV files, and the WAV files, uh, or just the melodies in here, are just crazy. There's a crazy amount of them. Like, this thing is huge. I'm talking about big as hell. So, there's all types of different uh, melody files in here, uh, or not, not melody files, melody loops. There are WAV files, high-quality WAV files. Um, and, I mean, the, the, the loops in here will keep you inspired, and you'll be able to go into this folder and get out a melody for long time to come. It will take you a long time to use all the melodies in this thing. There's all types of different melodies. I mean, there's there's tons of them. So, and also the good thing about it is they're in folders. So you open up the kit, uh, the Angelic Vibes kit, and you'll see different folders, like one folder, and it'll say the BPM of the loop in there. And then some, some folders only have one loop in it because it's just the one loop, but some of them also are kind of like pre-started up beats, and there's like four or five different loops in there that you can also use together if you want um, as kind of a started up beat already, and you can take it from there. There's some really dope stuff in there. Of course, I'm not going to demonstrate that here, but you can, if, when you go to the site, if you click the link in the description below to go to that kit, or you just go to the site, or if you're already there, just click the View Demo button, um, and it'll download an MP3 demo of some of the lo loops in there, and also like a little loop. Uh, I'll throw you guys some of the um, loops as well for free in the free demo, so you can check out the quality yourself there too. So that is a really good pack. So we have a, a really crazy dope uh, melody. Oh, and also in the Angelic Vibes pack, there's drum loops. So I know a lot of you uh, have been requesting you want more drum loops. So there's all types of drum loops in here, hi-hat loops, drum loops, all types of stuff. So not only melody loops like synths and instruments, but also drums are in there as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and come over here and give you a demonstration of the Plex Contact Preset Bank. Let's get into it. All right, so we are on the studio computer now, as you can see. I have Plex already opened up. Um, now, one thing about this this preset bank is um, it is, as you can see, it's not the most polished, crazy looking user interface, but it's very simple, very laid out, very effective. Um, but really it's the sounds in here, which is really what matters the most is how it sounds. How it looks is always cool too. This one is very simple looking, not too much going on. But the sounds in here are are stunning. There's some crazy good sounds in here. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and just run through a bunch of them. Usually when I do these preset banks and the, the demos for them, I usually go through and pick out like a handful of my favorite ones to do the demos of. But this bank has so many good sounds in it, I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to just open it up and just kind of randomly go through them. Because everything I clicked on was one of my favorite sounds in here. So I was like, well, I'll just go through a whole bunch of them at random. Um, so there's all types of things in here though from like really pr really pretty pianos um, Synth sounds lead sounds as I mean we can scroll down here. These are all the presets uh, sub basses strings uh, Arps are in here as well 
Um, and this is the ARP uh, modulator right here. As you can see me clicking around on it, you can mess with it and make your own. You can control right here how you want it to move. Um, and then of course you can see all the knobs. You already know what all of those do. They say what they do. You got grit, distortion, stereo, all types of stuff. That's really cool to have the stereo knob too because you can turn that up and make any sound in here sound more wide which we'll use later on for like snares which will be pretty cool uh, but it'd be pretty cool for anything even like pad sounds or whatever you want to make kind of wide uh, so this is really a really go-to um, bank for presets um, or oh, even drums actually so I'm gonna go ahead and mute this mic and just go through them uh, just watch what I'm doing watch if I tweak any of the knobs um, and just enjoy this demo and let's get to it
also if you hear the crackling it's not the sounds aren't distorted it's because i have uh the preset kind of loud just kind of turn the preset down a little bit As you can hear, there are some really bold, rich sounds in here. So uh, it's been a minute since we brought you a preset bank for contact, but I'm sure you can see it's well worth the wait. There are so many really big, bold instruments in here. It's not just synth sounds, there's actual instruments. So I know you guys are gonna like this one.
This is a really good uh, sub bass preset for you all. A lot of you are always like, yo, we love the basses and stuff, but they don't, some of them don't stretch out long enough. So this is a long ass sub bass. I mean, I don't know how much longer you might need it, but this is pretty damn long. So we went through a bunch of the sounds. We didn't go through all of them, as you can see. 
Uh, but this thing is getting long. But hey, this is a this is a pretty big preset bank, and I really wanted to get the point across to you guys how dope this was. Um, so it's it's a long video. Oh well. Now to the drums. Um, I'm gonna just briefly go through the drums. As you can see, there's 10 chants, 19 effects, 19 percussive sounds, uh, 21 hi hats and crashes, 22 kicks and 808s, and 22 snares. Um, the really cool thing about this is you can open up the hi-hats, you can open up the snares, the kicks, the 808s, whatever, and it's in contact, so it's already spread across the keys, but also you have all these knobs. So, for instance, we open up... Oh, wait, what happened? Why isn't this one working? Well, I'll fix that before we release it, but open up a snare and then you can come in here and turn up like the stereo knob and all these different knobs to kind of make the sound the drums sound even more interesting so i'm going to go through a bunch of these randomly right now and do that So another reason why that's cool to be able to do that is because you can come up with stuff on the fly as where you, you usually might not have come up with something like that if you weren't able to sit there and play with the keys, uh, the sound while it's spread across the keys like that. So that's another reason why I like to open up my drums like this as well because I come up with stuff I probably wouldn't have came up with if I wasn't doing it by hand or, or not even doing it by hand but just, just playing around, you know what I mean? some really interesting crazy ass sound and 808s and stuff in here too so i mean you guys kind of get the point uh you can just go through here i'll mess with a couple other drum sounds um there's just all types of stuff in here you can start up some crazy you could make beats really with just this because i mean you have drums you have sounds all you really need is contact in this bank and you can make some pretty dope bangers um and then also it's cool like you can open up hi-hats of course and do your rolls stuff like that I was trying to do with this one. There's some live sound and hi hats in here as well, like this one. And so you know, there's a few, there's a handful of like live sounding hi hat loops that are going out there, or they're around a bunch of drum kits. And a lot of people are just kind of reusing those same loops instead of trying to make their own. But with this, since you have these live hi hats and they're spread across the keys, you could make something like those, but make it your own. And it doesn't sound like something that's already in like a whole bunch of beats that's all on the radio and on everybody's websites and stuff. So that's a cool thing about this hi the hi hats that are in here too. You can make your own live, live hi hat type sound and loops, just messing around on the keys until you have something that sounds good.
All right, so that's gonna wrap up this pack. Um, there's plenty more stuff we could go through. I mean, we didn't really go through everything. Oh, of course, I'll go through one of these chants too. You could do some cool stuff with these chants as well. Like say you got a, a dope club beat going on and you want the, the like a hey chant like this to kind of bounce around. I mean, the possibilities are just endless. There's all types of stuff in, in this in this uh, preset bank. Uh, you, like I said, you have the arpeggiator module. Just tons of stuff that you can really do. Uh, tons of really high quality sounds, and not just synth sounds, but actual instruments, as you could hear too. Um, I mean, really, this is one of those banks that I have to say is a must buy, um, especially for the prices. You know, the prices that we list them at, and it's just something that you'll probably go to for years to come. There, there's sounds in here that are going to become some of your favorite ones to use every now and then. Drums in here you're going to love to open up and mess with across the keys and, and tweak the knobs and the delays and stuff like that. Like, for instance, you could open up a hi-hat, turn up the delay, uh, add, add some kind of like a phaser type effect, do your rolls on here, and it'll just sound like this crazy. Maybe even add some distortion to it. You can just make some crazy wicked shit on here and have other producers and, and people listening to the beats being like, damn, what the hell is that? How do you make that loop sound like that? Um, so, yeah. This is the, the Plex preset bank. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Sorry it is long as hell. We're at 24 minutes, not including the intro video. But this is a contact bank. So a lot of stuff is in these banks usually, as you can see. So a lot that needed to be went through. Um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Industrykits.com, definitely pick it up. After you pick it up and you've made some beats with it, please uh, leave a comment in the, in the comments below uh, and just say what you thought about it all around so that future people that see this video uh, we'll we'll have some feedback into if they're thinking about picking it up and also leave a review on industrykits.com if you can a lot of you I know you know most people never leave reviews but a lot of you never leave reviews on the products you buy you, you know you say you love them and everything you use them a lot but you never leave reviews and those reviews really do help the site so anything you've ever bought from industrykits.com if it's at all possible when you find some time please leave a review on the website for that product because it really does help us out um, and helps out future other producers. You know, they'll see that review and they'll know whether or not they should try to mess with that um, and so on and so forth. So thank you for watching. I don't want to take any more of your time. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Pick this up and bang out some fucking beats and go fucking ham. <laughs> All right, y'all.